Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Just in Two Pages. In this video, we are going to see the topic design of shaft. Under this topic, I am going to discuss about a numerical. Basically, this numerical will have bending moment as well as twisting moment together. These two moments will be applied on a shaft. Let's see what will happen then. There are certain formulas. The first formula is the shear stress. So shear stress, the formula for the shear stress is Fs is equal to 16 T upon pi dq, where T is the twisting moment, where D is the diameter of the tube. Next is, the next formula is bending stress. Bending stress is Fb is equal to 32m upon pi dq, where m is the bending moment and d is the diameter. Next formula is equivalent testing moment. Equivalent testing moment Te is equal to under root m square plus t square and it is valid for ductile material for example mild steel and last one is the equivalent bending moment which is m e is equal to 1 by 2 m plus under root m square plus t square it is valid for brittle material like cast iron so let's consider a numerical problem which will contain these two moments twisting moment and bending moment so in that numerical we'll try to find out the equivalent so First, we'll begin with a numerical. The numerical is a solid circular shaft is subjected to bending moment of 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 Newton millimeter and a torque of 10 raised to the power 5 Newton millimeter. Here, the word torque is the twisting moment. Torque is nothing but a twisting moment. is made of C45 steel having an ultimate tensile stress of 7 into 10 raised to the power 3 tensile stress A and ultimate shear stress is 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per millimeter square. Assuming a factor of safety to be 6, here the factor of safety is 6. So design a shaft. So here in this question, the given datas are m which is 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 newton millimeter t which is 10 raised to the power 5 newton millimeter here we will divide the given stress by the factor of safety that is 6 so when we divide it 7 into 10 raised to the power 5 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 6 it will comes out to be it will comes out to be 1.16 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per millimeter square whereas if we calculate fs it will comes out to be 0 0.83 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton per millimeter square now we'll use the formula equivalent twisting moment and the formula for equivalent testing twisting moment is t is equal to under root m square plus t square why we are calculating the equivalent twisting moment because in this both the twisting moments, twisting moment as well as bending moments are applied. So we'll here we'll calculate the equivalent twisting moment. So we know the value of m, we know the value of t. So we'll put it over here. After calculating, it will comes out to be t. The value of t e will be 104403.065. After this, we know the formula for the shear stress. That is, F S is equal to 16 t upon pi d cube. So by using this formula, we know the value of T, we know the value of Fs, we can calculate the value of D. So it will comes out to be 8.60 millimeter. Once we have calculated the value of D using the equivalent testing moment, next we are going to calculate D by using equivalent bending moment. But before that, we have to calculate bending moment. So here we'll use the formula for the equivalent bending moment, which is me is equal to 1 by 2 m plus under root m square plus t square 
So putting all the values of m and t, we can calculate the value of m e as 6, 7, 2, 0, 0. Now further, we also know that f b is equal to 32 m upon pi d cube. So by using this formula and putting the value of here, we'll put m e instead of m because in this case, we are calculating that twisting moment. So finding out the value of d, it will comes out to be 8.38 millimeter. So we can see that this is the value 8.38 earlier the value came out to be 8.60. So the value 8.60 is larger. So we'll consider 8.60 mm for making the shaft. Thank you.